This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, and um, a happy Eid Mubarak to our Muslim brothers and sisters. May the joy of the season go round. You're about to say, Rea Kari. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is Tea Time, and of course, we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. I have my amazing girl and course with me, Ife Omai and Nimi Dekombi. It's the girls' gang today. Purple, purple. Oh. <laughs> so and again, we're wearing different colors. Mm -hmm. Wish your viewers. Oh yeah, happy Eid. Eid. Yes, happy Eid. Mm. Um, may the blessings of this period ah. be mm. overflowing. Amen. Eid overflow. Amen. Let's <laughs> go. Everything she said. I feel so bad for the farmers, though. I have to bring that in. Because like, okay. I know this was a period where they were supposed to really hammer yeah. and sell so meat around. and all of that type yeah. of stuff. So my heart goes to those people involved in that. Don't you watch it on the news? No. Oh. Ah. He said there's nobody buying their akini and they've been yeah, working hard for this because nobody's doing period. any celebration. Like okay. But this is not their exactly house. their celebration yeah, owner. Yeah, no, but they still sell. Style. But they still sell. They still a bigger one. <sighs> so people are just looking in their houses. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Well, it's a general thing. They'll be all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so let's start with um, Big Brother Africa 2014 winner, comedian and actor Idris Sultan has been arrested for mocking Tanzanian president. A video clip showed him laughing at an old photograph of President Magufuli wearing an oversized suit. His lawyer confirmed to BBC that the comedian was detained on Tuesday and has been denied bail for allegedly violating the country's controversial Cyber Crimes Act. His lawyer said, and I quote, I strongly believe as a comedian, my client is only doing satire and satire can be political as well, end of quote. The law states that someone should not um, initiate or send any electronic communication using a computer system to another person with intent to coerce, intimidate, harass, or cause emotional distress, end of quote. If convicted, the comedian could face imprisonment for at least three years or a fine of five million Tanzanian shillings or both. President was being serious, emotional, emotional, emotional distress. distress. <laughs> 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 you know, when I read that made the, me laugh so hard this morning. I, I, I watched the video I, over and over again. I was just because like, like, his so laughter ridiculous. is his laughter will make you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> He's touched. So the president mm -hmm. is touched. President is. I just hope or wish. No, I wish that um, the way African leaders get very sensitive when they are. Let me call use their word bully or mocks online. If they also get sensitive that way towards making, actually Change. doing the work that they're elected to do, I think yeah. life would be better. Life would yeah, be way better because we don't I get touched story. when mm -mm. we say that. Oh, you don't have your job. Mm -mm. You don't. You don't get touched when people come out and protest. You don't get touched then, but you get touched when we laugh at your outfit, that your throwback outfit. Like, are, are you busy? You know? We, we laugh, laugh at, you. at we our laugh own throwback outfit yes. that you do. I feel like it's so ridiculous. Why would you imprison somebody because he laughed? When I read the story at first, at face value, I thought he did something more yeah. serious. I didn't think it was just going to be a 36 second clip of him laughing at the president. Because I can imagine in Nigeria, there are so many people who have done way worse things yeah. to mm -hmm. our president. Mm -hmm. it, there, was, there was a time on In Twitter, Nigeria, if you want to start arresting people, then they don't they need to have like a... They'll have like a, a, a parliament to create the prison where they will put us because... Yes. <laughs> to be honest, because there are, there are so many people. Look I mean, at America. If you Google stupid and go hmm. to images, don't Donald Trump's picture is the first picture. There is a whole show that, dedicated it to, get, roasting to me, Donald Trump. It doesn't get worse than that. Mm. Um, that Come stupid is, is now equivalent to Donald Trump. And that's only when he became president. Mm. And that is the president of the power, most powerful country in the, in, world. in the world. You're talking about Tanzania with maybe 56, 57 million people. One of the poorest, at least I know it's the poorest in, one of the poorest in um, South, South Africa, Southern Africa. So it's not like a so they have that much to do. First of all, who is policing people on social media? Mm -hmm. I, I, I saw the act and I, I got the act, but is there, a, is there a surveillance policy as well? Because then that is also, in, in a sense, um, um, invasion as well. So like, mm -hmm. who is tracking Tanzanian um, posts? And they're making that decision today. No, the video must have gone. Them. Of course, it went viral, mm -hmm. and somebody it's a WhatsApp now. Somebody would have sent it mm -hmm. to the president to say, "Look at you," and he feels like, "Oh, I want to show myself." But also, um, we need to mention that this is not the first time he's been arrested for yeah, doing true. something online. The other one was Still even more less yeah. ridiculous than this one. I can't remember now what he did. He photoshopped his face uh -huh, on, on the president, president's and then the caption is not bad because he was basically saying he wanted the president to have. Mm -hmm. 
a, his birthday for himself and while he would show that the responsibilities and of um, and that. he was arrested for that but he was let he, they let him go without um charges i think and for all. me the the act in their country is very similar to the social media bill that was proposed yeah. mm. in nigeria Still and the working. problem the problem is the fact that we understand the reason why the bill is being proposed but the fact is just that the bill is too ambiguous. There are so many unwritten lines. There are so many things that are not clarified. What constitutes as bullying? What constitutes as, as harassment? I could tweet something in my right that I feel is the truth. And you say that it is harassment and I'm arrested because of that. The ambiguity of the bill is the problem. We understand what they are trying to do, the cyber crimes bill, blah, blah, blah. But the fact that anybody can be arrested for saying something that somebody else mm -hmm. would feel is harassment. And it can be, it can be it interpreted by so many people. Especially when it's even geared harassment. by the um, government instead. This was not something that was brought by the people. So you, mm -hmm. it's not to, it's not rocket science to figure out that they're trying to use that as a means to quiet, to quiet people. people down. So um, they, they, we need to start having that conversation. It's been in the news since what when I start uni, 2014 or something. I mean, sir. <laughs> This and the guy is actually very cute. Yeah, he is actually cute. Mm -hmm. And this is so ridiculous. I can't imagine going to prison because of this, because I laughed at the president. I it's think they have, they, they have something against this guy, I think. I feel like maybe the president is not doing what he's supposed to do, so he feels triggered. Yeah, but why him specifically? You, can't, you cannot tell me that this guy is the only person. That it, he's probably the not the only person. He's, he's the one we are talking about or hearing of because, because of an his influential person. popularity. Yeah. Yeah, true. Maybe there are other people that and are I don't, I don't think too. there are many celebrities that are in that Tanzania. big in mm. Tanzania. Tanzania. So maybe he knows that this is going to get pretty... Even if it's not global, but pretty <laughs> continental. Okay, we need to move on so I can stop laughing. <laughs> but I hope they let him go or sort this issue quickly. Okay, sorry, before we go on, you were talking about ambiguity. Looking yeah. at what the lawyer quoted or what they say the constitution says and what he did in this video, is this also playing in their own space right now? They can, yeah, they can call it emotional stress now, emotional yeah. distress. Emotional so that's why distress. that's the way the ambiguity goes into yeah, that. What if I have what, good intentions and then you as say that it's bad? So if distress. I say, oh, um, Elsie looks um, hideous, not, maybe hideous is not a good word, but she looked interesting and I laughed. Mm -hmm. For me, it's, it's very vague. Like, interesting is a, you mm -hmm. can take it however you want. And then you interpret that as like defamation or whatever. And then so you that's the issue. Her. That's kind of like she the gets issue arrested is. because of that. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll keep an eye on that to see how it goes. Um, but moving on to the next story, Bonner Boy's neighbors called in police officers to arrest him and his father over noise in the neighborhood. So um, the video circulated online on Sunday, I think. And um, in the video, we could hear someone saying he wasn't done paying for the land he built his house. We don't know how true that is because that's kind of ridiculous. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. I, I, think, I think for me it's interesting because like a few days ago, Bonner Boy still posted that his actual net worth hmm. was more than three point. Yeah, which is that, and that's why I think it's so ridiculous. If, it is so ridiculous because if your net worth is more than three point five million dollars, why haven't you finished paying for yeah, your yeah, land? Yeah, and then yeah. why would any the why would they let you build on the house on the land when you're still owing? I know it's yeah, possible so it's anyway, so, but yeah, it's very possible. And with the way net works net worth works sometimes mm -hmm. is very tricky because net worth and asset liquid assets is not always the same thing you could have a lot of like um money in things but not necessarily but i don't think it's true the guy definitely is a hater that's for sure mm -hmm. um which guy? I was covering mm -hmm. okay. the, it was a bit unnecessary even though i can't stand uh, burner boy right now it was very clear this was a bad billion neighbor <laughs> making the recording but yeah i don't think anyone has the or right, musician or not, to make that much noise that is invading. The only thing I could get from this hater that was behind the camera was that um, they they were they were tired. It wasn't a one time yeah. thing. It wasn't a new thing, and they've been doing it over and over um, again. So it's not it's not some, it's not rocket science to believe that he Brenner boy would be making noise in an environment. And it's a it's a celebrity thing worldwide. They're always complaining about that YouTuber guy. There's, there's a lot of them, Shad. They're always complaining True. about that that make um, noise. Yeah, but you have to take it into the law. Um, perspective, um, noise pollution. What is the, what is the consequences for that? I didn't say anything about arrest. I don't think you can actually. So you can act, You can be. Or you can ask them to arrest someone, but they don't have the right to actually arrest the person, especially if the person has, you know, um, knowledge about what their rights are and things like that. So there's a bit of a gray area with that. Obviously, he didn't get arrested because he replied on his Snapchat and saying who, me, and with him, like, mm -hmm. having fun, so. Mm. But, um, but then, when it comes to um, 
environmental unrest, people actually have the right to call the police yes. to come in, especially when you're staying in a certain kind of estate yeah. and then you're, because before you came into the estate, there are rules and regulations. So if you don't adhere yeah. to those rules and regulations, that alone is kind of a law on itself. Mm -hmm. So, um, and the estate in question, <laughs> I don't want to mention the name of that estate, but people there are people that everybody wants to prove that. Yeah. I am big in my yeah. own right. And you have a lot of big people in that estate. So everybody, their shoulder is always like this. Yeah. I am this. So if you feel like you really want to be where you can be worshipped as a burner boy, maybe that estate is not, not a you. place for yeah. you. Yeah. Maybe you should think of getting like a hectare. Where well, you can be plan. a champion. You know, you be, yeah. So everybody yeah, can, can come out African in the morning giant. and worship you and all that but i mean if you're living with people it's just um nice to adhere to the rules of public um environment space and all that because this is the same person that will come out to bash the government they are doing this they are not doing that if he goes to his house wherever he has a house in london or united states i'm sure I'm the sure nuisance is constituting here yeah, he wouldn't do it sure over there so this is it takes me back to saying if you're trying to hold the government accountable to do this and that and that. Learn to also hold your own self accountable in the little things you do, from how you throw your trash on the road to how you speak to people, mm -hmm. how you how your manners on the road is when you're driving and how you actually relate to your neighbors. It starts from there. So I just hope that yeah. this is settled and he understands why this happens. It's not just the guy being a bad belly. If there was no noise, I don't think the, those exactly. number of people would be out there mm -hmm. to see that happening. So I think he should and I, and try to retrace his step. Because it's very interesting to me that it's mostly the Nigerians who have actually traveled and mm. have seen how things are done in other countries that come back to the country and they just behave anyhow. Mm. What he has done is something that would not be tolerated if he was in the UK, because I know that Bonaboy frequents the UK a lot. It's something that would not be tolerated. It's something that he would be arrested for mm -hmm. if he was found guilty. So why would you come to Nigeria where you, you, know, you talk about the fact that Bonaboy is somebody who has been very vocal about how our government is not doing enough and all of that. And then you come to the country and you're still abiding by that lawlessness. You are doing anyhow. I don't think it really um, really represents his brand properly for somebody mm. who tries to portray himself as an African giant who is trying to... You know the way Bonaboy Trying to bring Savior sa sa to... Yeah, yeah, I don't know. So for well, even if you want to make noise in your house, you can. But make it a place that can conceal the noise. You are just going to spend money, but mm -hmm. it's possible that you create a club in this very place now, and once you step out of this building, nobody knows what is happening there. So it is possible. And you have the resources, I believe, and from your bragging. So make it happen. Saying that there's another huge celebrity here. Why are you the one that has so much But then again, much being problem? a football celebrity and a musician celebrity, for me, that example was like a bit off, because we know that so certain types of musicians career Musicians have to be no, They don't have to be. They just, I'm just saying that they drag a different type of noise. I don't think mm -hmm. they would i don't know it's there's no excuses irresponsibility okay. to be honest it's time for a quick break but when we come back we definitely have more to discuss Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, yeah. and plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull. Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> 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 Welcome back. This is your tea time on Plus TV Africa. Now moving on to the plenty drama of over the weekend. And we've dealt with one, Bonner Boy. So this is Cynthia Morgan and Jude Curry. And I think it's a thri three people thing now because Mehdi went in. But let's set start with <laughs> <laughs> let's start with Cynthia Morgan and Jude Curry first. So she says when she, she left the record label, right, that her life has, I don't know, become hell mm -hmm. that she had to she had sicknesses or diseases yeah. and she had to go to Zitogu or Kotono mm. to take care of herself and she spent a year there spent all her savings and the shame 
was too much for her to want to come back so she decided to settle there and just do something for herself but now i think fans want her back i don't know if this is happening without um, her knowledge but well, apparently she spoke of, right yeah, she spoke and away. there is a consent for them to try to want to bring her back in yeah. opening a gofundme and all and that david also said she should call him, uh, that was but... after the whole drama mm -hmm. that was when david came in i mean that's a good gesture anyway i don't know people why people are also bashing david mm -hmm. yeah tacha said she would do everything to promote her music once it drops and all that but the real question now is judo koye's label yeah. and um cynthia and morgan mm -hmm. he has yeah. come out to say that the accusation of him stopping her from using her stage name is an absolute um false and that it is not possible for him to do that but that's the one i want to correct that yeah. it is absolutely possible for you to actually stop someone from using his stage name because we saw that play out with the case of kiss daniel which was why he changed yeah. from kiss to kiss but jude's point was that cynthia morgan is a birth name so he can't stop her from using you can actually stop a person from using any name, whether best or not, from as for business. You can't stop them from bearing mm -hmm. Cynthia Morgan. So but for business, you can. It's just like the case of Rihanna and the dad. I mean, Fenty is his name, sure. right? But that's in court. So you can actually do that. So I, I don't think that's a, an, a, a real excuse. But if he said that is not what he did, then of course, I definitely have to mm -hmm. believe that that mm -hmm. is not what he did. Mm -hmm. But is that possible to be done? Yes, it depends on the kind of contract you have signed with the people and mm -hmm. I also saw is it Peter or Paul coming out to speak away. Peter. So I think it's time for me to shut up. And, yeah. <laughs> so for me personally, I'm a little bit torn. I don't I don't want to be on anybody's side because I always say that you never ever know the full story. Mm -hmm. Especially when it comes to this kind of business. I don't really understand the music industry. But from the way if you look at all the things that we have seen where artists are fighting with their record label, it always feels like as if there's something missing. And um, going back to what Bemi said, because I read what she wrote, and I was like, oh, that was when I started having doubts about the whole story. Because I read what Bemi said, I read what um, other music label owners, what they were saying, and they were like, <clears throat> a lot of people just blame the record labels. Nobody looks at the fact that they made investments in these artists. So I understand where Jude is coming from, because according to him, what he said is, he's not holding her against using her name, but what he has is a Vevo account because he wants to make his money back, mm -hmm. which she also said that he was the one who sponsored her music videos. Mm -hmm. So of course, if you make an investment, you it's, it's not rocket science. You want to make back your investment or you want to make profit from the investment. So I understand that part. But what I now don't get is why is it that all the artists that were signed to this particular um, mm. record label, that's not side records. Whether it is Medi, whether it is Medi Cynthia Morgan. Medi wasn't signed, actually. It was, it was part of yeah, the... Yeah, he's part of the drama, but he wasn't signed. Yeah, but, okay, you worked with them. Mm -hmm. But why is it that the people that have worked with you, the artists, that, why is it that none of them are actually, you know, making it? Or why is it that they are not successful? What is it that was in that contract? Because the truth is, we don't know what was in the contract. And mm. Cynthia Morgan kept on referring the contract, the contracts, and a manager said that they were the ones that drafted the court. So there's a lot of... Yeah. There, there's so her manager things. is not on her side anyway. Yeah, no, that's what I'm not. saying. Her manager yeah. is not even on her side. Her manager said that she was the one who brought all of this on herself, it's, it's which is why I said I started having like, a little yeah. bit of doubt. It's hard to um, pick a side with that. I think there's truth in both parties. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're going to... You have to use two different caps for, for these issues. You, you can use an emotional cap to understand where... Um, since it's coming from, but if you put on your business cap, then you understand fully where, where Jude where is coming from. Jude says she's think, been free since 2017. Yes, okay. and she yes. even released uh, yeah, she music me, under a new name, Madrina. There, there's some, I think the one you said a oh, while ago. sorry, other, now that you mentioned Madrina, he also said that he advised her not, not against changing her name. her name from Cynthia she Morgan to yes. Madrina. She was the one who wanted to change her name to Madrina. That's why I said I started having doubts and I was like, story. When you, when you mention now that why is it that a lot of celebrities under, or musicians or talents under his record label, I think they haven't really done a good job in picking people who are long lasting. So mm. even it, it may be, like he had soundtrack, but what else did he really have? Um, mm. Some people are just not um, convertible with, with them from talent to to profit even though people might like your music and i suspect that that's what's going on here um cynthia was nice but she wasn't like she wasn't slapping hard like i don't know it wasn't she like was, oh. cynthia yeah, morgan was, 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 no, like, was on the way, same level with burner no, boy no, then. but it, it didn't last very long is what i mean all the because other of the issue she was having because she just like this is the first time she's coming up yeah she just it's had it came up yet. after a while remember when she was dragged online as well for not paying her rent yeah, yeah um true. where she was staying in a molly estate or something and then the i think the landlord came out of we were just talking i can't remember clearly now but there was an issue of her owing millions of naira and there and then 
the story died like that. She didn't even come out to refute or to say yeah. anything. And I think that was when she moved to her Kotonu or wherever mm. she said she moved to. So um, this story, like you said, is difficult to pick sides. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not comfortable with the fact that Zipita Peter that you said came out to start yeah. talking in this um, light because, <laughs> I mean, whatever the issue is with you and, and your, your family, brother, we are yeah. hoping that you pull, after deciding to go your separate ways, you are trying to patch it up and be family or just be civil, right? I don't I, think they're trying to do that. I don't think so. Because, that, that was what because, I said. Like, I'm, I, was, I was hoping that that was what would be happening We've seen them interact before the scenes, several times and it hasn't really clearly, been in that Yeah, in that clearly it's not, yeah. it's not getting better that, anytime Whenever soon. Peter talks about this issue, he always paints Jude in a bad light. So yeah. for him, this is like, it's finally, the confirmation. Yeah. You guys can finally see it. So I, I I was actually expecting him to say something about I'm sure Jude is not the most nicest person. Like, interacting with his businessman. But I don't think he is doing anything that is like what's the word like out of out, unethical. Out, out, yes on an ethical but i don't think every business person needs to be a nice person mm. it'll be nice to be a nice sprinkle on the top of the cherry or whatever, whatever however you say that statement but i don't think it's necessary um but I, I want i want more answers i like that people are jumping on board like david and tacha but i think i think i've learned with him especially with jesse because jesse was the last time i did that when he got attacked i was like oh my god jesse's been attacked yeah, yeah, yeah. and then he said yeah, I'm, so now i'm just like yeah let it let it simmer before yeah. I start to make claims and jumping picture. on people's... Yeah. Hey, but regardless yeah. of what the full picture would end up being, Cynthia Morgan needs help. People are already um, donating in the... Yeah, of in course the, they uh, can help. Call? No, but this is more than but, just Cynthia Morgan. Now that sounds not like saying, a David is not saying he wants to sign her. No, it's not even just she David. She even she doesn't um, want to be under any label. Label, so label. Yeah. She just wants to collaborate. I feel like there's two things going on. Cynthia Morgan needs help, but we're destroying a man's reputation on the other hand. So he needs to figure out if... We need to figure out if that was worth... reputation was already being Okay, but quickly, let's go back to saga. Mehdi because we need to go. Yeah. So Mehdi says at the time we were jamming to soundtrack because we just be basically quoting <laughs> Neo Da Silva Street. He said you cannot believe that while he was jamming to soundtrack, that yeah. Mehdi was sleeping in the boys' quarter yeah. Yeah. Um, with cooks and all that in just one room and sharing mm -hmm. the toilet. And he shared that when somebody called him greedy yeah. for actually, I think he was trying to support um, Cynthia, Cynthia Morgan to say, well, yeah. the truth will finally come out. He hadn't said anything then, and then somebody said, no, they say your own case is green. <laughs> And dreams. then he went off to say no. Um, he did a lot of things for them, worked with them on songs, songs and he has them. not gotten anything for it. So if yeah. it's greed, then that's where he should start from. Hmm. For me, I think what was particularly funny about this story was people's reaction. People, oh my God, people trolled <laughs> him. People were like, so you mean that when I was listening to Chop My Money, mm. you were sleeping on this, you know? So that was that was just what was funny to me. And like I said, it just still points back to the whole management of mm. um, the of North Side truth. Records. And mm. why would your artist be sleeping in the boys' yeah, Ending with Mimi's, Mimi's tweet for this conversation cartoon, makes sense to me. Where it's get a good lawyer exactly. and, and, and like look at the contract If there was this, okay, before you signed, before you right? Signed. But for these people that are in the ditch right now, yeah, the they need closure, they need yeah. to move on. So something needs to be done, and as much as I don't want to call Juice the villain, mm -hmm. um, hearing um, Mehdi yeah, and Mehdi yeah, side, and yeah. Peace Square, um, it's, it's Mr. Weird. Peace yeah. side, so it yeah. just feels There's like he's the villain. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we need to go, and that's how I wrap up. Thank you for watching, and do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 09065719 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. My thank you, as always, we go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Nimi Dekombe, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa Stay Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do say save and enjoy your holiday.